Hello and welcome to week two of uh, ranking Disney characters, watching all 59 animated Disney movies to find the strongest Disney character. Uh, so we're on week two. This week I watched seven movies. Uh, those seven, seven movies. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yep. Seven movies. And I'll be going through today and ranking those movies. And honestly, this was a big week of movies that were just made with shorts to save some production budget. All four of these movies were just shorts with like live action, um, kind of called them movies, but really they were just cartoons. Um, really didn't start getting into the movie portion of Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Uh, even that was just two shorts put together. And then finally got Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland. So I only have... Actually, I have more characters this week than last week because a lot of characters came from Alice in Wonderland. But yeah, so I'm going to start with Salados Amigos. And as far as ranking it as a film, I'm going to put it below Fantasia. Um, because it basically did everything Fantasia did, but didn't have that, like, the part of Fantasia that I liked that was relaxing and um, enjoyable music. It was really just... I don't even remember what it was about. <laughs> there was a Donald Duck short, a plain short, and a goofy short. And was it kind of a cool concept where, according to the movie, they sent animators to uh, Spanish parts of the world, to or South America, parts in South America, to find ideas for their shorts and cartoons. And basically that's where those that those shorts came from. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna for right now. It's gonna go under Fantasia, um, just because did the same thing for me as Fantasia did. But I think Fantasia did it better. <clears throat> as far as as far as the characters, so I had three characters from this movie. Uh, for the three characters from Salados Amigos, I have Donald, Goofy, and uh, Jose. I think his name's Jose. I think I got that right. Um, so they're my first three characters. So Donald's going to be the first character we're looking at. And honestly, pretty easily, he's going to rank pretty high up on the list. Let's see. I have, so Donald was in three of the movies. Uh, yeah, three. Yeah. He was in Saludos Amigos. He was in three Caballeros and he was in Melody Time. Actually, he was in Fun and Fancy Free as well. So he was in four of the movies. Um, so I have a lot of notes on Donald. Uh, so first, I mean... He's fluent in sign language. It's not going to help him in a fight, but just thought that was like the first thing I learned about him. Uh, he can hold the weight of him and a llama while dangling from a rope. Uh, so very clearly strong. He was literally in that movie holding the rope uh, and then holding the llama in the other hand. And just they were just dangling underneath a, a bridge. So he's pretty strong there. Um he also survived the fall from a top of a mountain to uh, Lake Titicaca. Um, he gets shot at, but not like shot at. Like he dodges some bullets. It's not really that hard for him though, because the guy who's shooting at him sucks at shooting. Um, he does hold a bunch of weight in that movie as well. So definitely, I mean, we're gonna rank him strong. I think to start, I have a feeling he's gonna end up above Dopey. Uh, what else was he in? He was in Fun and Fancy Free. Uh, oh yeah, he literally murdered a cow in cold blood. Or he was he was ready to um, until Mickey grabbed the axe away from him. So I think he could be a good fighter with an axe. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. He oh yeah, when he's angry, basically no one he's unstoppable when he's angry. Um, and this is not just coming from this movie, but also a few of the other shorts that I watched. But for, for Donald, I think right now we're going to rank him above Dopey based on his just pure strength. Um, basically, the fact that he's willing to kill in cold blood. Uh, oh, yeah, he was squished by a beanstalk with no issue. Um, and then, like, also some other facts that I was kind of just researching here. He has small knowledge of magic. He's He's been seen using the sorcerer's hat before. Uh, he's a master of he's a sword master swordsman, 
Uh, he's been shown to regenerate. He basically came back after being fully erased. He's been fully flattened. He's been fully squeezed. Uh, he's rage power. What I was mentioning before, basically, when he gets very angry, he can beat anybody up. So yeah, for right now, I the reason I don't think he's above Yensid, uh, basically just because Yensid has a stronger knowledge of magic, and there's really nothing here. I mean, he does have healing and things like that, but I I don't think there's gonna stop much of a magical attack from him. Um, I think I'm gonna write Goofy very similarly. So looking at Goofy, he was in. Salados Amigos and Fun and Fancy Free. So I have two movies of information from him. Um, but going back to Goofy here, we're gonna rank him right under Donald. The reason I don't think he's gonna be above Donald is because Donald with that rage, I think if he got super angry, could easily take Goofy. Um the reason I put him above Dopey right now is because he has shown some feats higher than Dopey's feats. Uh he did one thing from Salados Amigos was he Basically, within 3.5 seconds, he jumped and practically, like, the in the animation showed him falling, but he was basically flying from Texas to the bottom of South America in 3.5 seconds. He's also a pro with the lasso, um, so even though Dopey's shown, like, high pain tolerance, high jumping as well, um, strength. I think with the kind of strength that Goofy showed as far as sir, he survived a back kick from a horse, which I, I don't know if you've ever seen someone get back kicked by a horse, but that's not something you walk away from. It's like an instant kill in Red Dead. Uh, so yeah, he survived that. He had his face fully squished. Uh, he had high stamina in Fun and Fancy Free. He was able to be a little bit faster than I think Mickey and he basically held Mickey and Donald as they were running, so he has strength there. Um, so I think his strength is just higher than Dopey's, but like I said, Donald rages, I think he'd beat Goofy. Um, and then the last one from Salados Amigos is Jose. So Jose showed up in Salados Amigos and uh, Three Amigos. And honestly, he's going to rank pretty low on this list. He didn't show much other than a good dancing skill. <laughs> um, he was also, like, speedy, I guess. Um, and he could fight with an umbrella. He did show, like, he kind of knew how to use his umbrella like a sword. Um, so for that pure fact, I think I would put him under Snow White and above Thumper. Uh, so under Snow White because... As we talked about last week, Snow White has that skill to um, sing and kind of control animals. And I think, like, in a fight against Jose, she could maybe, like, call in a cat, and the cat would take care of in Jose. Um, I think Jose could easily take Thumper and Bambi and Timothy, as they really showed no strength or skill. Or <laughs> if he can fight with a sword, I think he could easily take those three out. Um, so, yeah, that, that's it for Salados Amigos. And let's see. So the next movie would be... Oh, and um, for Saladus Amigos... Did I have anything else I wanted to say? No. So yeah, that that's pretty much it for Saladus Amigos. And then for Three Caballeros... Uh, as far as the ranking of the movie itself... I'm going to put that above Fantasia on under Saladus Amigos. So... I think that's I mean it is Salados Amigos and Three Caballeros are pretty much the same exact type of movie the difference I think was Three Caballeros had a more through plot line even though there was a lot of period where there's just singing and nothing else happening just because they clearly didn't want to hire um, voice actors but the reason I'm putting it above Fantasia is solely for the Three Caballeros theme song because it is one of my favorite Disney songs. Um, and I think the Three Caballeros is a great I idea and a great concept that they utilize down the road, actually in the more more recent years, back in 2018, 2017. I believe they started the new Three Caballeros show and they showed up in DuckTales. Um, so I always like the concept of Three Caballeros, uh, which is the main reason I'm putting it above Fantasia. 
and Salad Dos Amigos, even though it was a very similar movie to Salad Dos Amigos. And then going over here, the only additional character that I have from the uh, three Caballeros, because obviously Donald and Jose were the other two main characters from that movie, is Panchito. Uh, so Panchito... Oh yeah, he can dual wield. He has a dual wield gun. Um, he had high speed, and he showed better, like more higher strength than a normal bird. Um, I believe at one point he held both Donald and Jose, uh, so he could hold the weight of two birds, one stone. <laughs> um, dumb joke. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't be allowed to make puns. But yeah, so I think. For Panchito, ranking him here on this list, uh, I think against Jose, obviously, um, against Snow White, like she could do the same thing, but because he knows how to wield guns, I think he can take care of any animal she sends and then take care of her. Um, I think he can shoot the glass out on Magic Mirror. This is kind of where I think he's gonna fall somewhere in in this this area. Uh, so looking at Zumbo. Basically, water versus gun. <laughs> um, also, Dumbo had some some strength in him as well. Um, uh, and he can fly, but so could. Okay, I'm gonna rank him higher than Dumbo because I mean they they're both kind of right on par. Um, him kind of being a skilled fighter though definitely helps him out. Um, I'd say the same with Jim against Jiminy. And then with Monstro, I think he's going to land right under Monstro. Because um, I don't think he can do much against the whale that's as tall as five bu- or a five-story building. So yeah, I think, I think right under Monstro is going to be the perfect place for him. Alright, so that's it for Three Caballeros. Basically, Salados Amigos and Three Caballeros, since other than Jose, <laughs> um, all the characters were in both. Oh, and Goofy. Goofy wasn't in three amigos or three caballeros so yeah so that's Saladus amigos and three caballeros